Definitely. Uh, I just see freshmen starting to make sophomore, junior plays. Iggy starting to learn off the ball defense, guarding on ball defense, finding the open man. He's, he's doing, doing a really good job, and everybody's just developing their game as the season goes. <laughs> Isaiah, for you, last year your first uh, time actually playing Michigan State was up at the Breslin Center. You came away with the win. So, I mean, for you at least being from here and having grown up in this rivalry, how badly do you want to make sure that your record up there for you, Jordan, and Eli stays intact? It, ha it has to remain the same. I was talking about Jordan that the other day. Uh, my first start was actually against Michigan State, if I remember correctly. So that's kind of huge to keep that tradition of the winning going on at uh, Breslin Center. Your coach said that uh, Charles is practicing. He's going to be a game time decision. But yeah. has that changed your preparation at all, or has it been the same as it was for ne Nebraska and uh, Maryland? And, and you're ready to start. Same way. If he plays, you know, we got great. We have another great player on the floor with us. If he doesn't, I mean, it's all good. We got our brother. So, how do you prepare, kind of mentally, for going on? You know, to what's going to be most likely the most hostile environment you've been to all year long? Uh, shoot, I don't know. They'd have to. Maryland was actually kind of tough for us. I mean, you know, that crowd, they were they were pretty pushy. But definitely, I heard. I remember when I went there last year. Breslin was pretty loud. But I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I just seen I just seen like worse uh, student sections. I don't know what all the commotion is. I think I, I think every road road win is really hard because the crowd usually amped up. But this zone may may affect us too. What does it mean to have this game coming down to the Big Ten title between these two teams? It's huge. I just, yeah, like I just said, it was uh, it's perfect. It's kind of perfectly set up for us. You know, they just came in here, got a dub on, got a dub in front of our fans. Now it's time to go, to go in front of their fans, get a dub in their faces to end the season. So I just think it's perfectly set up for us. Isaiah, we saw the uh, passion that last year's game had when uh, Mo and Jordan were kind of going crazy on the floor. Jordan had a little something for the folks in the stands at the end. So oh, yeah. what's he, what's he doing? Just, uh, he was putting his uh, hand this, up. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. so I mean, with that, just how much more do you expect the emotion in this game to be ratcheted up with a banner on the line? They're definitely going to remember Mo being the villain in the Big Ten, and they remember Jordan doing this after the game. They're going to be pretty amped up, and they're probably probably going to go after Jordan. So he shouldn't be, shouldn't be surprised at all. In terms of like regular season games you've played in, in your life, where does this kind of rank in terms of everything that's at stake in this game? I think this is number one. You know, you're playing your rival. You lost to him already at home, and it's for potentially to share a uh, Big Ten title or out or outright win it. So I think that's probably the most. This is probably going to be one of the most important games that I've ever played in Michigan. And you're obviously in the Big Ten. You're obviously a Michigan guy. How much did that loss when they came in here give you emotion that maybe? Sting or it, it stung, you know. I remember we had an off day, and then the next day we, 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 had, we got it in film. I mean, of course we did. We didn't we didn't play as well as we needed to, but it just really hurt just being an in-state guy and losing for the first time to Michigan State. So.